Hey yo, hi guys, it's Mario here, and I hope you save room for dessert because I've got another sweet video coming your way. And today I'm here with a brand new Let's Play on the first fan game ever on my channel. Now, this fan game is called Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, and the reason why I did this fan game is because I've been following it like since like 2011, and I, I can easily agree that this is one of the greatest Mario fan games of all time, if not the greatest, alright? So let me just explain this fan game because obviously you cannot advertise fan games because it's illegal and stuff and you have to make it free. So I'm actually gonna leave a download link to this in the description below just because it's free. So um, this fan game just started out as just a tiny little project by this guy named Judge Spear. But then, since then, a lot of people just hopped on the band bandwagon and decided to help out. So you know what, it just, it's just a fun experience for all. But then later on, like, Judge Spear just quit working on this game, his game, for take a break. But then he found out that the other people working on this game, like, added, like, a bunch of random stuff to the game. And, to be honest, like, he thought it, was, it wasn't his original, like, idea and stuff. Like, it wasn't what he wanted to put in the, in the game. So he decided to quit the team and decide to start on a new game. But the other people just continued on the game. Later on... Um, the fan game grew huge, even went on news articles and stuff, and there's so much more content compared to like an actual Nintendo game. It probably has like more content than like 5 Mario games, minus the graphics of course, because obviously this is 16-bit. But yeah, you can basically, it's basically like, as the title says, Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. So basically, it's like, um, the Mushroom Kingdom, except fused with like other gaming, other gaming worlds and stuff. So you can also play as other characters like Sonic and Arthur and all that stuff. And I'll showcase that later, but I'm just explaining the game, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I've been following this game since 2011, and I saw it, like, rise during its golden age, where, like, it was just so good. There's a lot of people working on this game, and, you know, it was just so amazing. A lot of people wrote texture packs for the game, and there were so many levels being made. But then later on, like, people start to grow, like, older and stuff, and they didn't have time to work on this game, so, pretty soon... Uh, it, it died down and it went down to a team of two people and since in the golden age people like added whatever they wanted so that this ultimately ultimately led to the game's demise because um, there was so much code in the game that it was irreplaceably cor corrupted and now like like um, the game is like really laggy on like even powerful computers for some reason so if this is laggy for some reason even though it's 16-bit then I'm sorry so, yeah, that's a little bit of the backstory of the game. I'm sorry if I sounded vague, but yeah. There was actually a revival on this game, but the thing is the revival also died because this game is so huge, so huge that you need like a team of like a bunch of people, like a, like a Nintendo sized team to complete this game. So they have to just like, they have to dumb down the game a little if they want to revive this game. But honestly, I think it's feasible if there's like a lot of people or if they dumb down like the game and make the contents like not as much. So without further ado, let's guys get started with this fan game. So I've actually played a little bit of this fan game in like 2012 when um, the version 0.5 came out. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to play the revival because it doesn't have a lot of content compared to the original because obviously it's a dumbed down version. So yeah. So here's the player select. You can actually save your game in this version. So yeah, this version is actually released in 2012, so it's actually sort of old. So here, as you can see, you can play as like a bunch of different characters, which is so cool. So I'm going to start out with Mario, but just, just go on ahead, but yeah. As you can see, it's not complete. Kirby and Samus are not done. And Kirby has been worked on for like a quite a while, but he's not done yet. Because like I said before, the project, project isn't as like focused and stuff, so... hey. So here's Mario. Um... Yeah, he's pretty average. You can also spin jump from Super Mario World. It's really cool. Look at this. Insta kill. All right. Now this this playthrough, unlike other playthroughs, will take extremely long, like over a hundred episodes, I bet, because this this game has so many levels. It's just insane, like how much effort people put in this game. So yeah, some levels have red coins disguised as regular coins. Find all eight of them in a stage to be awarded a prize near the end of the level. The prize you get varies depending on the level. So, yeah. And the thing is, Judge Spear, the original creator of this game, even warned the other people that it's gonna it's gonna die. So, yeah. Yeah, Judge Spear has since moved on into a, like, a different project, which is more focused and stuff. So, yeah, it's actually going strong. 
But it's actually really hard compared to Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, so I don't even know if I can do it. So look, Super Mario Bros. 2 enemy, that's cool. Hey! Super League. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh yeah, they shoot two, two fireballs, like in Super Mario Bros. 3. You see the special hand icon on those shy guys? It means that it's safe to stand on those enemies, and you won't get hurt even if your playable character can't stomp them. Once you are standing on one, you can pick it up and toss it. You can turn these icons on and off via the options menu. Oh yeah, oh yeah um, some like characters can't like stomp at enemies because yeah, they want to stay true to their roots. So, yep. Oh, cool. So, yeah, sorry if this game is laggy. I just can't prevent it. Like I said before, it's just so much random code in this game. It's like so irreplaceable at this point. Like you have to start. From, like if a revival is made, this game has to be started from the ground up. So that kind of that's kind of sad. That's why it's like I said before, the revival doesn't have as much content compared to the original because it had to be started from the ground up. As you can see, this says JS because Judge Spear, the original creator of this game. Oh come on. Oh, also another note, there's like butterflies in the background, because in this version, when it was released, they added like a bunch of more details. And I can see there's these like coin thingies, because there's a shop in this game, so I'm going to try to get all the coins. The red coins. Alright. I'm very excited for this Let's Play, because this is actually the fan game that introduced me into like fan games in general like I just like saw like um, a Mushroom Kingdom Fusion video recommended to me and then like I, I, I didn't know anything about fan games and stuff the swimming system works like in Super Mario World while you are swimming if you hold up or down you can control the height you go you gain with each boost if your character usually can't swim taking the life jacket will allow him slash her to alright yes red coin I had need one more oh cool it's star Hey, this is um from New Super Mario Brothers, like ripped exactly from there. So what was I saying? I don't remember, to be honest. Oh yeah, I don't have to spin. So yeah, the raccoon suit works like in Super Mario Brothers 3. It doesn't work like in the newer games where you hold down, you have to keep like repeatedly tapping the game. The, the, the button. If you can touch the top of the flagpole, you will get a 1-up. Okay, let's try this. And I think I got all the red points, so... Oh, shoot. Come on. Hey! 1-up! <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry I forgot what I said. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Cause it's hard to like focus on the game and do commentary at the same time, it's just really hard. Alright, so I'm gonna go on to a new character. Um, probably Luigi, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna read the descriptions too. Mario is a well-rounded character. His power-ups are diverse and his play control is flexible. He is the character to compare all others to cause he's just like the average character. Mario's younger brother is strange cause in some games like Luigi's considered a twin to Mario, I don't even know, it's like an error. Mario's younger brother has substantially different play mechanics. His jumping ability surpassed Mario's. His special jump is a floating jump that travels higher and farther. Luigi's fireballs travel straight, but slower with less range. Luigi's traction is also somewhat less than Mario's. So, yeah, that's cool. I don't think I can do like ha even half of World 1 in this, um, in, in one episode. Because, like I said before, this game is like, so extremely huge. Even one world is like, in, like as big as like probably a single Mario game, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not even over exaggerating it. I I'm being serious. Yeah, so there's World 1 is just a Mushroom Kingdom, so imagine that. Because obviously, um, this game is about fusing with other worlds. So, yeah. There's gonna be other worlds. Oh, you can just dash here. No, there's a troll there. Oh, you can do a high jump by pressing up and jump. It's cool, you can float, float down, you can go fall down slowly. I'm sorry, like, <laughs> I haven't done like a fan game or a ROM hack in a long time in this channel. Like, they used to be abundant- oh shoot! Well, that was stupid. 
They used to be abundant in my old channel, but the thing is, like, I just grew away from them. And I just got tired of them, because, like, I mostly just did fan games. So, that was a thing. Because then I had enough money to, like, afford, like, a capture card and all that stuff. So then I just shied away from them. But now I'm going back to them and realizing how how charming they are and awesome and, like, how creative they can be. You can't do this in Mario Maker. Yeah, you can. So there's just so much more you can do. And this is a remake of um, the level from The Lost Levels, I think. Yeah. Hey, it's a fire flower. As you can see, it's green. So Luigi in this game is based more off of his um, Super Mario World incarnation to give him a variety and Mario himself is based off of his Super Mario Bros. 3 incarnation. And here, his fireballs go straight and you can spam more than two on screen. Like it said in the description. And since there's um, a lot of different characters, um, some some characters will make the game much easier compared to others. So yeah, that's one reason why Judge Spear didn't like 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 this kind of stuff because um, he just wanted like a simple game where Mario and his friends visits other, visit other worlds. But that wasn't the case, and yeah, I'll just be like then people would just start picking like the easier characters. And so yeah, in his like revival fan game called Super Mario Fusion Revival, I think. The one that I said is hard, um, there's only Mario characters and each of them have like different play styles but they're all like equal so like not one, one character is not like better than the other. Oh shoot! Are you serious? You couldn't go through that, that was a two block- I don't even- I'm having these stupid deaths and this game gets really hard, like later on. And you can press space to drop down your item. Oh my gosh, dude! I'm dying like quick, like fast. Like, I'll get used to the controls soon, soon enough. Because, yeah, I'm playing on. Oh, okay. I'm so stupid. I forgot to do the giant jump thing. Yeah, I'm not used to playing on a keyboard. It's like so foreign to me. Like, I'm used to playing on, on like a Wii U gamepad or whatever. And yes, I just did say that. <laughs> like, most people would prefer the Wii mode compared to that. A. There's something up there. Yeah, you can jump slightly higher. I like how you fall down slowly, too. That would be cool if Luigi had, like, his, like, the duck jump, where you duck for a long time, and then you jump high, because that's, like, from Super Mario Bros. 2. Shoot, I don't want to die. And you can skip this. <laughs> Like, kind of like the original Super Mario Brothers, but I'm going back down. Can you? Oh no, I can't. Actually, I'm gonna try going in these pipes. Oh, there's no extra fire flower. Okay. Just in case, because this might be a secret exit in this level, because the second level always has like a secret exit and stuff. Yep. And these, these rupees are actually going to be very useful in the future. And you'll see why later on, because of shops and stuff, you can buy awesome stuff. What's this? Alright, I don't know what that is. Oh, look at this! Oh, it's a bee mushroom! So, um... In this fan game, some characters have like... Have like special power-ups, so, yeah. So the bee, the bee mushroom can make you... It's like the Tsunuki version. Tanuki, the Tanuki suit for Luigi. And you can shoot out stingers, and you can fly too when running. Although they can't hurt certain enemies like with shells. Oh gosh. What was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? I don't even know. I swear to god, I'm gonna die. Like, I will die. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. Look at this! It's so tight! Oh god! Okay, alright. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna die, I swear to god. Oh my gosh, dude. Because Luigi's traction sucks. I'm gonna do a long jump, because that helps you a lot. Oh god. I'm so stupid, I swear to god. Okay. I'm just... wow. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm 
these controls are so bad. I'm, I'm just serious right now. Like, I don't have like a special controller, so I, I have to use a keyboard for like the rest of this let's play. So, um, hopefully I'll get used to it on time. I have plenty of time because this world's long. And right when I said that, I got hurt. I'm not gonna camp on the top because one of those pipes had like an on and off switch, so maybe I can go somewhere. Yeah, I know a lot about this fan game because I played a bit of it. Well, not a bit. I went to like World 4 in 2012, back in 2012, and I actually like remember it now. So this pipe. You know what? I'm gonna get those rupees. Yeah, I need that. This could be very useful in the future when stuff gets hard. And I need you. I really need you. I'm gonna camp on the top. Screw this. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it the legit way. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna switch to Mario if this happens again. This is really hard with Luigi. I, I, I just can't... Oh my god, did you see that? I almost fell off. Oh gosh. The trick is to land in the... Okay, you can't go in there. Okay, this is where I died, I think, yeah. Oh gosh. Can you land in that gap? Oh, okay. There might be a secret exit here. I'm switching to Mario. <laughs> I just can't- I, I'm so sorry. Like, for being so bad at this game. Okay, I'll do this level again. One more time, alright? Goomba Mines. And you keep your power up too, so that's cool. Alright, let's do this Mario time. This is why Mario is better than Luigi, I guess. Yeah, I just only play this fan game if you have a lot of experience in Mario, because this is just gonna get really hard. Luckily, there's a bunch of one-ups here. Oh, Tanooka Suit, A. Hey. <laughs> I like how the leaf lurk rotates at the top. And you can do this. So, oh shoot! I forgot about that. It it's yeah, it expires. Yeah, it stays true to the roots. I completely forgot. Yeah, I'm not risking it. Oh gosh. Please no. Oh gosh. I don't wanna do this. I really hope it gets easier next time. This fan game is not for me. I don't care. You know what? I'm not gonna go through the secret exit. I don't want. I don't want to try. You know what? No, I'm a. I'm a completionist. I will try. All right. Oh, what is it? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. What? Are, yeah. Die. Yeah, there's a secret exit. Oh my gosh, see this is the, where the fusion stuff comes in. Yeah, as you can see in the world map, this is the place that leads to world 2, so... This music though, it's freaking creepy. Come on, I need power up. L luckily we got a checkpoint though, so if I die again... Oh gosh. What were those guys from? I think Metal Gear Solid? I don't remember. I'm sorry, but I'm like, I don't really know like much about stuff other than Nintendo. So like... <laughs> I don't even know. Alright. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I don't want to do this. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Did you see that? I was like, I couldn't even move when that happened. Okay. Yep, this level is not for Luigi. 
You, there's no way a, a human can do that with Luigi. I'm serious. There's no way. So yeah, there's other characters like Sonic and stuff, but I'll showcase that in like the next episode probably. Because I'll probably only do two levels in this episode. So yeah, this is this this is definitely gonna have like over a hundred episodes. It's gonna be one heck of a journey. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. That was like really fast. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious now? Alright, you can't even Oh I swear to Okay, you go back? Alright. Yeah, you can't spin up a small Mario. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I, if I mess this up. Okay, good. I just cringed there because like, I, I knew I was gonna fail. This gameplay is probably cringy because like, I'm just so bad at this game. There's probably people who can be like Keizo hacks and like, with no trying, no task at all. Did I really have to fall here? Can you? Just jump down. Oh, you can't get me. He's not gonna jump down, okay. Thank you! You're being nice this time, oh. Oh shoot, come on. Invincibility frames! Come on, no! There's no way, you, ha you had to get hurt there. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Please, just end take me out of my misery. I don't wanna do this anymore. Oh my gosh, did you see how fast that moved? <laughs> World 2. Oh, okay, this is the secret exit. Hey! Is this from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Are you serious? You know what, I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna definitely cut this. So, I guess see you after the cut. Alright, so I finally beat the level. Um, so I'm gonna switch to a character, that was just a pain. I had to play that level so many times. So here's Sonic the Hedgehog. The blue blur is the fastest character. He has a variety of fields to protect him from various forms of enemy fire, as well as the magnetic shield drawn coins. Though he is the fast, he has excellent inertia, stopping and turning with a relative ease. His power-ups are a bit lackluster compared to other characters. And see what I did there? I read extremely fast. Because Sonic. Okay. Can I do I'm probably gonna do one more level. I I can't take this anymore. Like this fan game is good, but it's just way too hard. Oh, um, I have 57 points. Yeah, Sonic is one of the easy characters because um as long as you have at least one coin, you're just like invincible basically. And I just lowered the volume because it got really loud. Hey, Toad House. I forgot what these do. Oh yeah, it's like the Tanuki version. Oh, the Raccoon Suit version of Sonic. There's like different versions of a power-up for each character. I failed that. Yeah, I accidentally pressed the, like, the go button twice and then I... Yeah, so I messed that up. Alright, this is a remake of the Lost Levels again! And here's the fire shield. You can press dash in there. You just leap forward. And there's the poison mushroom. What's up, dude? I think there's a secret exit here. And you can do a ground pound. Down plus X. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yep. I, I messed that up. So as you can see, he drops down um, coins, not rings. I was about to say rings. Alright. Yeah, this is like sort of not blind because, like I said before, I played this before. But it was a long time ago, so I might forget some stuff. And maybe in the future worlds, it won't be blind because I only played up to World 4 and then I rage quit because I got too hard. I remember that. Probably will happen again. Oh, what? You're back? Oh, wow. He, he, he got revenge because I ignored him. What the? I was jumping. I was jumping, so I was in my ball. 
Okay guys, this let's play is gonna be really slow. But I was in the air, I was jumping, so this game might have a lot of glitches because I don't know, poorly coded, blah blah blah. And I don't really I don't really think I'm getting all get, gonna get all the red coins here. Even though I'm a completionist. Because I don't know, just the sheer difficulty of this. Okay, just watch. Alright, just watch. Oh, I'm touching it. Hey! Okay. okay. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh, I messed that up badly. Great. And I'm gonna die. Yes! Hey, we got it. Oh, it's a boss fight. Is it Birdo? Because there's... Or Super Mario Bros. 2 enemy. It's music though. Oh, it's not Birdo. It's that Mauser guy. Yeah, it's Mauser? Yeah. That's the name. Oh, you can't do that. Dang it. You have to beat it legit. Oh, what the heck was that? I tried throwing it. Oh gosh. Epilepsy warning for you guys! Oh wow, epilepsy warning for you guys. What the heck? This is so hard. Epilepsy warning! Okay, I'll put an epilepsy warning. Because I, I, I don't want to like... Yeah, I... I love you guys and I don't want this to happen to you guys. Like, just by watch... Just, 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 just by like, hit like... Like when you're trying to enjoy Let's Play, and you see some, I I press the button. What the heck? I'm dead. I have two points. Come on. I'm dude. I'm dead. Come on. Oh shit. I swear. Yes, he's dead. On time. Oh, he'll still explode it afterwards. Yes! Okay, so this is gonna be the end of this Let's Play. Congratulations, you reached the end of- not the Let's Play. The end of the episode. Congratulations, you reached the end of the video. Want to see more? Check out my channel for more gaming content. Like this video if you liked it, and subscribe to join this Marmy today. And I got the secret exit again. <sighs> to beat this level of 10, are you serious?